Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna walk you guys through how to set up and activate your new iPhone 13 Pro or any other 13 phone that you have. This method will work for any other iPhones as well. It's gonna be pretty straightforward, but things have slightly changed with iOS 15 release, hence why we're making this video for you guys. So in the past, if you set up a phone, you might think, well, it's really simple. Well, there's a couple things you want to make sure. First thing first is if you haven't seen our unboxing of the Sierra Blue iPhone 13 Pro, make sure you guys check that video out. So here you go. As you can see here, this is a new phone that we bought to show you guys how to go ahead and activate this device. But before we go ahead and get started with today's video, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways. So make sure that like and subscribe button. Also, if you guys are on the market for to upgrade to a newer phone from your older phone, make sure you guys check out the links in the description section for discounted iPhones. So as you can see here, we have the 13 Pro here in our hand. In the phone, you'll notice in the box, there's actually a pamphlet. This pamphlet is really important, and the reason why it's important is it's not because it has the Apple sticker and all that menu, it's because this tool that you see right here, this is actually a SIM ejector tool. It's gonna be important that you have this tool, or and if you don't have this tool, don't worry, you can also take a paper clip bend it a little or an old earring piece basically to be at this size so that you can take out the sim tray and put your sim card in so we're going to take that and also make sure if your phone is in charge go ahead and take this power adapter and charge your phone up so you can use your macbook if you ever want the newer macbooks or you can take a usb-c power adapter and plug it into that and then charge your phone unfortunately apple doesn't include that which is Again, something we wish Apple did, but as you know, Apple doesn't do that any longer, starting with the iPhone 12 lineup. So we're gonna take this same ejector uh, tool that we have, and then on the left-hand side, we're gonna locate this area. You can probably take off that white cover as well, put that aside. And once you have done that, we're gonna take that same ejector tool and simply pop it into that little hole that you see right here, press and hold, and you just have to firmly push it in and it will pop out the SIM tray. So there's going to be two scenarios that's going to happen. Either you're going to already have a new SIM card already there if you bought your phone from a carrier and you just need to activate that device and call up your carrier and say, hey, I need to activate my phone. I got a new phone or they already have done that. So you don't have to do this. But if you are transferring an existing SIM from your f phone, other phone, maybe you're going to take that existing SIM card and you're gonna to want to line up that cut piece that you see right there along with the cut piece of the SIM tray where you see this copper piece facing for up and then the logo of your carrier on the back here. It's gonna sit flush and then we're gonna to want to go ahead and insert it back into the phone. It's gonna be flushed to make sure it's flush because you don't want any opening as it could that it could leak in water and not read the SIM card. Once you have done that, we're gonna simply power on the phone. To power it on, we're gonna hold this big side button. Keep on pressing and holding till you see the Apple logo. And once you see the Apple logo, it generally takes a couple seconds to see that Apple logo. Or if your phone isn't charged, make sure it is charged. And once you do that, we should get to the main screen where we can start the setup process of the phone. So as you can see here, we are able to now see that hello screen. We're gonna simply close this box so we can get a little bit more real estate here. What you're gonna want to do is slide up. If you haven't used the iPhone, you slide up to get to the screen as there's no other buttons. And the first menu you're gonna hit is the language here. And you should by now see your carrier pop up here where if you're getting the signal here, it should be right there. We want to select the language, of course, and then select your region or country for us. It's gonna be US. And then this quick start is that if you already have a pre-existing phone, you can simply hold it next to it and start moving things over by simply doing a peer-to-peer -peer transfer. So we're gonna hit set up manually. The next step is gonna be connecting your phone to a good Wi-Fi. If you don't have Wi-Fi, you can also use cellular data at the bottom here with a cellular connection or simply connect it to a computer if you don't have a SIM card or a Wi-Fi. But we have Wi-Fi here, so we're gonna select our demo Wi-Fi, put the passcode of your Wi-Fi, so simply do that. So we're just simply entering that password in here for our Wi-Fi. And once you do that, it's gonna say it's gonna take a few minutes, but actually gonna take more like 15 to 20 seconds 
And this what is doing right now is actually sending information up the phone to Apple server to validate that phone is actually valid in their system and it can actually be activated. And once it passes that, you can get to this data and privacy. Here you can read about the Apple's data and privacy policy, learn more about it, or simply just hit continue like everyone else does. Next thing you're gonna get to is Face ID. It's important to set up Face ID as it will help you unlock your phone automatically to use Apple Pay to make purchases, to subscribe to Apple services and much more. So you wanna take advantage of that and simply hit continue here. Once you hit continue, you're gonna get this and get started here and then you're gonna put your face and move it around in circular motion till it reads your face ID. And because of the demo of this video, we're just not gonna do that. You can always come back later in the settings and do that. So that's the option we're gonna select here. Passcode, you want to make sure you select a passcode. It's very important. By default, you're gonna get a six digit code that you can set up or you can have the ability to actually use a different format of the code to unlock your phone. And you can select a four digit code. You can do a custom a numeric and alphanumeric as well. Whatever you choose, the stronger the password, of course, the better. So we're just gonna simply choose one, let's say, that's simple for us. And once you have done that, you can also not choose not to do it, but pretty highly recommend it. It's gonna get you to this part where it's apps and data. Now, there's a couple ways to bring your data over from either existing iPhone or Android phone by simply one of these methods. First one is gonna be, which is most popular, is if you back it up to your iCloud, you can simply click on that and sign into your Apple account and it will do the restore from the iCloud. Next one is if you have iTunes and you have backed up to your lap, your PC or MacBook, you can simply connect the phone there. It will start uh, prompting you from the Finder app or the iTunes app. Again, both, depending on the version of Mac you have, you can simply do it from there. You can transfer directly from iPhone. As we mentioned, if you hold your phone next to this one, it'll recognize the phone and ask to do a peer-to-peer -peer transfer. And then you can also use an app from an Android device. If you have an Android device and moving to iPhone for the very first time, you can do that method as well. Again, it will bring us things like photos, videos over to your phone and contacts and much more. All of these steps we discuss in other videos, so make sure if you guys don't know how to do that, check those videos out, but it's gonna be pretty self-explanatory. Or you can simply choose not to move any data and start with a clean slate and then select that last option. Next option you're gonna get, it's gonna be Apple ID. So to sign into your Apple ID, you can sign into an existing Apple ID if you have one from your previous Apple devices so it can sync up that data or simply create a new one. And to create a new one, it's gonna be totally free and you can have your email and password created. And you also have the option to reset it if you forgot your existing one. So we're gonna go ahead and sign into our demo account here. And then once you put that, you're gonna hit next here and then it should ask for password. And then just simply put in your password. If you forgot your password, just simply reset it. Not a big deal. So once you have done that, we're gonna hit next here up top. And as you hit next, it's gonna either fail verification. If it fail verification, that means you're gonna have to, you entered the password wrong or the email wrong. So try one more time. So we're gonna try one more time. And this is the reason why we're doing this in real time and not edited is that to show you guys sometimes it takes a couple of tries to do this. So don't panic if it doesn't read it and some, some says something. As you can see, you might get this screen where if you haven't set up two-factor authentication, you might get this screen or might not. We simply can choose to do two-factor and upgrade your account or simply not to. It's a personal preference. We usually don't since it just adds a little bit more time for our demo account, which we don't need. And we're gonna get this terms and condition, all the legal stuff, you can have it send it to your email, read through it, enjoy whatever you need to out of this. Simply, like most people, you're just probably gonna hit agree and have it start doing the setup for you. And you're gonna get to this where it's saying uh, it takes a couple minutes to set up, but it really doesn't. Next thing is, it's a simple message from Apple saying that it's gonna 
keep your phone up to date by automatically uh, downloading the latest version of the iOS and simply you're going to have to click on continue. You can shut that down, shut that off by going into settings later on. Location services, so all of the Apple services that, requires, that require location services like Map, Find My, and other apps that really require it will, uh, will want you to turn off, turn on your location services. So you can turn that on or have it disabled up to you. We're just going to hit enable because that's the only way you can actually do anything. Next thing you're going to see is that you're now able to add pretty much cards to your Apple wallet so that you can check out quicker. And you want to do that by adding your card. So if you have a credit card, you can do that. Or if you had an existing account, it will already move those over here. So we're just going to do setup later of the wallet. Next message or the screen you're going to see is Siri. Siri, if you guys don't know, is a voice assistant for Apple devices. Simply, it's going to ask you to say five commands so that the phone can recognize your voice. So when you say, hey, Siri, it can actually listen to you and activate those commands for you. So it's, if you hit continue, these are the four or it used to be five, but you can select to say these and then it's gonna do that for you. Or you can always come back later and set it up in the settings. So that's the message we're gonna do so we can get through it faster. Screen time is a cool, neat analytics uh, metrics that they can give you on a weekly basis of reports of how much time you're spending on the screen. And you can also set up uh, limits if it's a child's device where you can do screen time and set a passcode so once they hit that limit, they won't be able to use the phone. Something neat to look into if you're really going to be utilizing it. Again, it's personal preference. You can just hit continue here and it just gives you the report. Next thing is app analytics. This is going to be Apple looking to improve their product line by simply collecting data from your phone for app crashes, any issues that happen for diagnostic purposes. Simply up to you if you want to learn more about it. Share that data with Apple or don't share. Usually we don't share, but it's again personal preference. If you want to share that information, you can. They don't send anything personal, but then again, we just like to not share things because it's going to be taking, uh, you know, some sort of process running to upload that data. Next thing you're going to get appearance, like with most smart devices, you're going to either have light or dark mode. So you want to select whatever your preference is. You can also have this in the settings where you can set it on that it's light during the day and then dark during the night and set a time where it's sunrise and sunset is the option. We're just going to go with the light mode. Next screen is for accessibility. If you need your text to be bigger because of course, bigger text may be more readable for you. You can select a Zoom version or you can just go with standard. We're just going to go with standard here. And finally, you're going to get to this welcome to iPhone screen. We're going to hit that welcome and then slide it up. And as you can see, our phone service is starting to send us message. We should see your carrier information come up here. That means you have phone service and you are ready to go if you haven't set up your iCloud account, you can go set it up here and all the other things like Siri, if you didn't set it up, you can come here and set that up and now you're ready to go start downloading apps if you need to download apps or if you move everything over, just verify your contact is there, your photos are there and simply now you can start making calls and such with your iPhone. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys setting up your iPhone 13, 13 Pro, 13 Pro Max or any of the newer iPhones. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.